Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at if formulas that base their logical test on the background color of a cell. Basically, we're going to use VBA functions to create a solution for this. I've created the functions already for you. And to do this yourself, you'll need to open up the Visual Basic Editor. Easiest way of doing that is to use the shortcut key Alt F11. Once you've done that, you'll need to create a module and to do that, you just go to Insert Module. I renamed mine All, but you don't need to rename your module for this to work. In your module, if I just close down the Project Explorer, you need to create a function. So you start with the word function. Inbuilt functions in Excel are called things like COUNTIF or VLOOKUP. I've called mine is red cell. And then in the parenthesis, I list the arguments within the functions. I've got one argument, which I've called RGE, and I have declared that as a range. So essentially, this will be the cell that I point at to evaluate the background color of. And I'm saying that the results of this function are gonna be Boolean results. In other words, true or false. This function is like the other functions that already exist in Excel, like is number or is text or is error. It's going to do the same sort of thing. It's just going to be a logical test that gives true or false as a result. Here is the line of code for the function. It's just one line. I'm going to say, is the cell, the cell that you've pointed at within your function, is its background color equal to red? This RGB way of referring to a color, let me just explain that. If I go back to Excel, if I select that cell, home tab on my ribbon, bucket button for background color or fill color of a cell. If you go to more colors, go to custom, here are your RGB values. So for red, it's 25500. Whatever color you're looking for or evaluating, you can just choose it in this or this and you will get the values red, green, and blue. I just cancel out of that. Let me just split the screen again. So RGB 25500, then is red cell equals true. Is red cell will get a true result if the background color of the cell that you've selected is red. Let's just try and use this. I'm in C2 and I'm gonna say equals is red cell. There we are, it appears in the IntelliSense list. Gives me an open bracket. I point at the cell that I'm evaluating, close the bracket, press enter. It gives me a true. If I copy this down, I get true, false, true. Put it within an if. I can say if is red cell is returned true, I want to apply a discount to this price. It would be B2 times, open bracket, one minus the discount, which I have in G1, I'll fix that with F4 on my keyboard, comma, otherwise it's just the original price, close bracket. If I copy this down, you'll see I get a discounted price where it's applicable. You could make a slight improvement to this function. At the moment, the color that you're watching out for or evaluating is hard coded into the VBA. So in another scenario, you might have yellow cells that indicate a discount. What would be really good is if I could select a cell with a particular color background, like say this one, and say, look out for the color that has been applied to this cell. And if you find it over in column A at all, then apply a discount to the prices. This second example of the function does exactly that. It has two arguments. We've got range as range and color as range and again this will be as boolean because you're giving a true and false result so we're saying if range dot interior dot color so if the cell that i've selected over here has the same background color as the color cell which will be this cell then is colored cell equals true the same sort of idea but has two arguments this function is called is colored cell and the first argument asks you to point at the cell you're evaluating, comma, and the second argument asks you to point at the cell that contains the color that you're looking for. And I need to fix that. Go to the bracket, press enter. That color matches that color, so I get a true. 
copy it down, I get a false there because that color doesn't match that color. And again, I could use this with an and if. So if this is true, apply a discount, price times one minus the discount percentage, locking that, otherwise return the original price. Copy it down and it should work. Do these VBA functions work like other functions in terms of do they update when I change, for example, the price, the prices in column B? If I change that to 80, yes, these functions do update. If I change this to 50, the discount, they all seem to update. But what if I change the background color of product one? Let's change that to white it seems that I'm still getting a discount. This is a bit of a downside of how we've got things at the moment, but we can actually fix this in VBA quite easily. Back in the Visual Basic Editor, I'm gonna go back to my Project Explorer, reopen it. I'm in the If sheet at the moment. I'm gonna double click on that sheet object, and we're going to create a little bit of code that runs automatically on a worksheet event. Once I've selected sheet two there, and go up to this drop down list and choose worksheet. And then it automatically says selection change there, which is fine. That's what we want to keep. The line of code that I put between private sub worksheet selection change and end sub will automatically run whenever I make a selection change in my worksheet. And it's one line of code again, very simple, calculate. Let's see if this works. I'll change this to red. Still have to make a selection change, but you can see then it applies the discount. Similarly, if I change that to red, at the moment there's no discount, but if I make a selection change, it applies the discount. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful, but bye for now, and I'll see you next video.